My name is Josie Young from Run Repeat and today I will be reviewing the Scott Super Chat 2.0. This shoe is quite a high cushioning, high support shoe um, and I definitely say it's good for trails. Um, it's quite good for long distance because of the amount of cushioning it has. So I'm going to start off by talking about the upper of the shoe. So we have this mesh up here and then we have a rubber bumper with some rubber outer just coming around that makes the shoe quite water resistant when it's not too rainy. I did find that when I ran in small puddles, my feet would be nice and warm and dry, but then as soon as I ended up jumping in a big puddle or running through a stream, the water did get stuck in the shoe and it took quite a while to drain. Another thing about this shoe is the flexibility of it. So as you can see, it's not very flexible. Um, I have worn these shoes quite a lot and I didn't really find that the flexibility increased as I broke them in. Um, I'm definitely a person who likes running in minimalist, um, flexible and responsive shoes when I'm on trails and fells because I find that I need to have complete confidence in my footwear when I'm descending so that I know I can completely go for it down the hills. And with these, I did find that the bulk was a little bit too much. The next thing with the upper of the shoe is the tongue. Um, I ended up taking the laces out of this hole that the laces went through in order to keep the tongue in place because I found that I can actually tighten the shoe up because I've got quite narrow feet. So if you've got narrow feet, I'd say make sure that you can tighten them up enough in the shop when you try them on. Uh, the laces are pretty good. They're not too flexible, they're nice and thin. With the upper of the shoe, there's been a little bit of rubbing that I have found sort of around the crease of the shoe where you push off. I'm quite a four foot striker, so I'm guessing that slight bobbling of the um, upper textile is just because of that repeated squeeze. With the heel cushioning and around the ankle is really supportive on this shoe. Um, it's a very comfortable shoe to just run a slow run in. Um, but I did find that there the height of the drop and just of the shoe in general was a little bit too high for me because I didn't feel very comfortable running down uneven surfaces after one of the first times I ran in this shoe in the dark. I did go over my ankle quite badly and was out of running for quite a long time so I'm not necessarily saying that it was this shoe that did that but it potentially didn't really help in the circumstances as my foot did roll very badly and I was out of action for quite a long time. Uh, moving on to the midsole, so we have this foam midsole. Uh, the midsole has a Evo rocker construction, so it's promoting people to run by a rocking, really pushing off the forefoot, um, which you can definitely feel when you're running on a flat trail, such as an old disused railway line or something like that. It's quite responsive, but I did find that if you didn't put in energy into the shoe, you didn't really get anything out of it. And because the shoe is quite large, then you felt like you were running with quite a thick, heavy weighty shoe. The outer is made of a rubber composition. The lugs are quite deep, but definitely a trail shoe rather than a fell shoe. Um, I did have a couple of times where the mud got stuck in the tread and then I would just completely slip down the hill. And it also happened with some moss one time so it's definitely a problem that I had and then because the shoe isn't very flexible it took a while to shed that moss or mud from the outer sole. Um, but the traction was absolutely fine when it came to trails. Um, nice on sort of gravelly rocky trails and quite responsive when going around corners on those rocky trails. Once again when you want mud, which most old shoes aren't very likely to perform because very muddy surfaces are going to be slippy but once you go around a corner in the mud it definitely didn't keep the traction um, and then for me with the lack of flexibility it did mean that I was more likely to slip. Overall I have given this shoe a high score because I feel that it's very durable and um, I haven't found that there's been any bits of the shoe that have come off or come apart. I did have a slight hot spot on just my left little toe um, a couple of times and the toe box isn't very wide so if you've got wide feet then definitely try this shoe on first and see if you can go out for a small run in it just to make sure that you are comfortable with the width of the toe box. But overall, I'd say this shoe is made very well. It's of a very high quality. It's rubber outsole. It's very slippery when you're on wet rock. But other than that, the traction is pretty good for trail. 
because the sole's so thick, definitely could be a contender for someone who wants to do a trail ultra. I definitely recommend this shoe to anyone who is a medium to light trail runner and who likes this cushion instability and I think it's a pretty good all rounder but just definitely not for those race days on Severe Fell. Thank you very much. That's my review for the Scott Supertrack 2.0.